Hello, and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. This is Liberation of Fosen, Chapter 10 specifically. And I think it's Fosen? 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 Not entirely sure. I'm doing a new recording method, you might have noticed. Uh, I've changed to a much more cumbersome method of recording entirely so I could get rid of the ghosted text. Some of you might have noticed that, some of you might have not. It's kind of hard to not notice that. But uh, what I'm talking about is, with a PS3, a lot of the time, at least in every instance in my case, actually. Uh, if you're using the, I think it's component cables, the five cables that you can plug into like a PS2 and PS3 and PS4 and everything else that Sony makes, uh, it'll ghost the text. So if you can, you can actually go back and look at the other videos. I looked down there to check something. You can go back and look at the other videos and you can see, like at the text where it says chapter 10, it would be ghosted. That's no longer the case because I'm now using HDMI, which makes it much more cumbersome because HDMI is HDCP protected, so I can't straight record it. It's a little cumbersome, but whatever. We're gonna roll with it, so hopefully this works out as well as the test did. It should, I see no reason for it to not work out as well as the test did, but then what do I know? So we'll see. I'm going to split this chapter in half, just like I did a previous chapter that had two battles in it, because A, this is a test, and B, I anticipate this taking a while to do, especially given the look of that first map. It's a little complicated looking, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, cutscene time. We've been given orders for our next mission. The militia's taking back the city of Fausen. Fausen's that big industrial city with all those Ragnite mines, right? Yes. If we manage to reclaim it, it'll be a shot in the arm to Gallia's productivity. Sounds good. So what's the plan, boss? The militia will break up into squads and set up a perimeter around the city. Once that's set, Squad 7 takes the point. Here, look at this. An armored rail vehicle? Right. They installed it to defend their hold on the city. Now our mission is to destroy it. Yeah, okay, so we destroy it. Any idea how we take on a beast like that? Gonna take a lot more than a pack of soldiers marching at it to do that, boss. Don't worry, we've got some hefty support on this one. Support? Like who? You know that Darksons from Empire-held areas have been brought there, right? I've heard stories, yes. That they're being used as forced labor in the Ragnite mines and weapons factories. According to Captain Barat, one of the men in the camps is acting as our agent. Here I get my hopes up, and it's just some dark hair? Got any more great news? What do you mean by that? Hmm. I'm just saying, I hope this guy's not as stubborn as someone else we know. Please stop judging people solely by your preconceptions. All Darksons are different. Sure could have fooled me. I couldn't tell you dark hair's apart if I tried. I don't believe you have ever really tried, Rosie. No, you just didn't. Uh, just drop it already. We're soldiers. We'll do our best out there. If the orders say work with the Darksin, we do. That said, I ain't making any promises that this guy turns out to be useless, you hear? Well, we can't know for sure until we meet him, but the mission hinges on him. We begin the march on Fausen at first light. The attack begins at sundown. distance presumptuous dark-haired filthy 
Where is the one responsible for this hovel? You rang? I hear a worker in Sector D has been disobeying his work orders. Would you care to explain this infraction? He's not disobeying you. He's been sick as a dog for a couple of days now. Folks from other camps working D Sector have gotten sick lately too. One's in a coma. That's where they handle Ragnite Refinery. Sure the toxic exhaust's being handled right? Hmm. <laughs> That's no concern of yours or mine. You animals need only be silent and obey. Let's think of it this way. You drive them to death and the work stops getting done. That doesn't help you much, eh? Hmm. <laughs> I'll let you know as soon as he can work. Think you could let him rest for now? <laughs> Very well. Have him return to work the minute he's able. And remember, no one would miss the likes of a few of you maggots. Hmm. Hmm. He's very rude, that guy. Seems to be the rudest one. Also, I'm having some, like, here is your mission got too many cables around here. Cables out the wazoo! I got cables out the cable. That doesn't make any sense. Also, those little rail tracks don't make any sense either, but whatever! You'll strike from the south and muscle your way! It's another stealth mission, is it? Who has to reach who has to reach this destination point? And we can ride the trolley cars, apparently. Hmm. Welcome dies, enemy occupies base camp, 20 turns. So who has to be there? Does it matter? Can anyone be there? We're getting a lot of troops. Let's put Rosie there. Who's it? It's Wendy that I like, so put Wendy there. Largo can go there. Jan can go behind Largo. We will bring Dallas, because she likes Alicia. He can go there, and Oscar, because he likes Jan. No, he likes Jan. What do you like? You like nobody. Both of them have night vision. She's a lone wolf, though, so we'll just go with Oscar. And one more at the front. How about you? There you go. And we'll roll with that. The objective is just to get there, right? Welkin, Welkin reaches the destination. Okay, so we have to get the tank there, then. If there are no questions, let's get started. I wish you good luck. And happy, happy hunting. hunting. I'm going hunting for dark sins. How would you pronounce that as Elmer Fudd? He pronounces R's like W's, so it would be dark sins? I don't know. It's hard to say like that. Our top priority is to get to the rendezvous point. Squad 7. Will do, Who Captain. Wait, that's me. Will do, me. It'll be alright. Okay. So we're on a bridge. That's the thing. Well, this is Fousen. Looks like a, a little bit. Layout. Let's move carefully here. We don't want to be spotted. I wonder if the trank, the trank, the tank can ride on the trolley line, and if that's its intended purpose, is to take the t the, uh, the tank on that barblard. So we have to we have to go straight. We wrap around here. There's a bunch of searchlights. There's a thing there. We come this way, capture that base because it's right there, we may as well. But then do you cross the bridge or do you sneak through the back? It's probably easier to sneak through the back, but a little bit slower. Either way, Welkin has to reach it, so we're gonna take our oh well, we'll take our first turn as Alicia. 
she is a scout. We'll have her scout for us. So it's going to explain the trolley now, probably. Lieutenant Gunther, you may be able to move unseen using the trolley cars around town. Their path is fixed, and they can only fit one person, but they may get you behind the enemy. I don't think we're going to use Alicia for that. Maybe we will. Tank can't ride it. That's that's much too small. Tank's not getting on that. Let's go ahead and ride it. Let's see where this sends us. What this does for us. Oh. Okay. Well, go ahead and shoot this guy. Good lord, that light. Okay, so that guy's down. Is there anywhere to hide over here? There is. There's also explosives. Stop freaking out, man. The frame rate in this place gets pretty chuggy as well when I look over there. It's a little bad, but we're gonna leave Alicia there. Why is it she reloads very slowly because of the poor frame rate? And we'll grab our other scout and try and meet up with her. Can we? No. That is a one-person trolley. That's, um, oh, for God's God. sake. I really hate the whole evasion thing. Like, with a passion. <laughs> you already have the randomness of the shot. Excuse me, the shot itself. Can I walk on this? No. I wonder if it resets in a turn. Probably not. Either way... Vulcan needs to move, and there's no threat as far as I'm aware, so we'll just go ahead and start moving. I don't need to act as soon as I see a target, it's just a dude. There you go, problem solved. How many CP did we have? We had... 15? 10? I think we had 10, give or take. Let's get people to follow the tank, I guess. This is going to be a slow mission, I feel. I could probably just take the tank and just charge through everything. Might not be a terrible idea, but that would still take a long time, and I don't know what kind of risks there are with driving the tank down there like that. I probably shouldn't have deployed everyone and just probably deployed them up there at that base and just deployed basic people back here. I think I may end up spending a turn actually retreating most of the people that are back there. Stop you there. I think I will do that. We'll move the tank twice per turn. We use two CP this turn going ahead and retreating some people. What? You yeah, okay. I was wondering why I stopped, but actually, I actually, I actually, actually, actually picked up a corpse there somehow by running it over with a tank. Oh, come on. This thing's accuracy sometimes. It doesn't matter. When he moves, he'll die, so. Let's go ahead and sp spend two CP retreating two people. Probably our Lancers. They're never going to catch up with the group. I believe I also have an order for retreat. Yeah, order is one ally to retreat. I'd probably be faster to just do that, but... It's alright. Just use the CP the old-fashioned way. That's that's for people who are, I presume, not next to a camp, so... Could be useful. They have a lot of CP. They have a tank, as it turns out. Or some sort of vehicle, at least. I upgraded my tank and my troops as much as I possibly could. And... Lancers, shock troopers, and scouts are all elite now. And this dude's dead. Or not. <laughs> okay. Like how they just get like right within range of the tank and they're like, nope. Probably not a good idea. I guess we'll keep having Alicia move through the trolley lines. 
Just try and, like, I guess, flank people, basically, is what I'm going for. So let's grab Alicia real quick. My turn, okay? Plus, it looks like it actually keeps her out of... It keeps her behind all these people, and it keeps her out of the... There we go. What am I trying to say? Out of the lights! The searchlights! That's what they're called. Some explosives there. Enemy unit spotted. Enemy There's a sighted. lot of people up here. I'm actually gonna keep running. Right here we'll do. I think we're gonna use her three times just to get rid of all these snipers. There may be another one further down, but I don't know yet, so. Let's do first. And they can't dodge as far as I'm aware if they're behind if you're behind them, or if they're behind you for that matter. They have to be facing you. So, is there any more grass? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, that looks like it's the end of the people on the upper level, so. One more turn for Alicia. Although, what is it showing on the map there? Oh, it's showing that lamppost. Okay, don't worry about that. Probably should just stop right next to people when I'm going to do this, but whatever. She hasn't missed yet, so keep it up, Alicia. You've done pretty much all of the work so far. Now, don't forget they have a tank, which is supposedly on bridge four, so... We're going to have to worry about that to some degree. Also, I'm just going to run this guy over and completely ignore both of them. They're going to do a little bit of damage, but it'll be alright. Well, we have a tank. Avoid the lights at all costs. If they find you, take evasive action immediately. I don't think there's much we can do about that with the tank. Unless we can shoot them out or something, but they're not targets, so hit this guy, hopefully. Oh, one of them missed. We're just gonna leave the tank here. Maybe by taking the trolley cart or the trolley thing. There's some way to turn those off, maybe? I don't know. Either way, those guys, these guys, are now facing the wrong way. Although that guy rotated. Two shots to kill. Sign me up. You're gonna get shot. You can you can stop murdering him now. I'm impressed, but not surprised. Leave Wendy there. We're actually only going to retreat one... Actually, yeah, we're only going to retreat one person this time because I need to move the scout up as well. I don't need to, but I'd like to keep this group with the tank. It seems to be working out alright. Please don't shoot your own tank. I know you're excitable, Rosie, but geez, calm down. And we'll go ahead and run forward a little bit. I like the formation. It's not really a formation. I've actually already screwed it up, but I like the formation we've got going with this tank, so... I'd like to keep it. By the way, there's the grenade launcher. We also have flamethrowers and anti-tank lances. Welcome, hater. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so those move really slowly then, it seems. Still, it's gonna be hard to get a tank through here. We can get people through there. We'll spend our CP, move someone back. Probably should move the engineer back, but I already picked him now, so probably should be moving the engineer up rather than two shock troopers, just to keep the tank alive in case of emergency. They have decent AP, actually. I think they have the second most AP. They took no turns. Hmm. They must have their tank parked on the bridge, then. All right, well, Alicia, is there anything you can do about the lights? You have a crane. Are you doing anything with the crane? No. Target Where? <laughs> what are you on about target sighted? I swear there is some form of vehicle around here. I swear there is. Mm 
Enemy Let's go get her in the grass over here. There's the tank. It's just a light tank. Hopefully she's safe from that tank because she's in the grass. She's in the grass, there's no sight lines. Hopefully she's alright where she is. So that tank's actually in a pretty decent position. I'm not going to get any flank shots on it, that's for sure. Let's take you, see what we can spot. Enemy spotted. Figures there's a dude in a nice convenient defensive location here. I keep moving the right stick to aim, but that's not how you aim. I could shoot a grenade at him, that's not going to kill him. Probably won't do that much damage. I don't want to throw a grenade at him. Let's take the shot. If he hits all of these, it's a kill. If he doesn't, well, he didn't. It's a start to a kill. Is he going to get a shot? No. Right. Leave him there. So let's see, let's see with the tank here. What can we do with the tank? Can I do anything with the tank? Yes. So you can completely avoid the searchlights even with a tank. Okay. The timing on this is interesting. I could take a shot at this light tank and see if I can hit the crit. It's possible, it's fairly unlikely, but I'm probably not going to have anything else to shoot at, so let's try that. Oh, it was pretty close shot, Welcome, Pretty close shot. Anyway, I need to be ready to go here. It's this one that's causing a problem. It's too slow. Tank only goes at one speed, so... And we're going. So we need to duck the tank into here, if, if physically possible. It is physically possible, but I'm going to actually take an additional 2 CP to rotate the tank and move it further in. Because you might have noticed, there's an enemy tank right there, and I'd rather not point my back at it. So let's take our shot at the tank again. Hopefully not hitting the tracks. Hopefully not missing either. That's a pretty important part of this whole strategy. Alright, are we safe? Is that passed right past us? Passed right past us. Yes, it does. So we'll spend 2 CP moving Rosie and Wimby up. Hopefully without getting spotted by that. Good. Very good. And maybe 72 shots? Excuse me. Alright, well, you're just gonna stand there then. I don't, I don't think you're gonna kill him with 72 shots when you only fire 20, but whatever. It'll be alright. And it's Wendy's turn. Wendy can just make a straight run almost all the way over there, but we're gonna take the back, back path anyway, because she'll get caught. Standing in the open, not have CP. Well, Alicia can just chill there, and Dallas right is going to spend yet more wasted CP retreating people. That's the only vehicle I've seen move. move, Or, well, not seen, but heard move. So, our tank should be able to easily handle that. Dallas Presuming, of course, that we don't continue to miss like an incompetent buffoon. I was going to take another shot. Hmm. If he blows all of his CP shooting our tank, that's a problem, but... And I guess technically I could just blow all my CP shooting at the tank, so... Oh, I figured she wasn't going to get the kill. Now she's definitely not going to get the kill, because she has, she has attack down. That's a fairly useful status, to be honest, but... Whatever. And that's their whole turn, apparently. So let's grab, not Rosie, let's grab you. Ready for action. Here's the tricky part. 
Oh, he got hit. I'll just shoot a grenade at him. I don't think the grenades are affected by attack down. They're not. Okay. He wouldn't have killed him without that grenade, so I went ahead and took the shot. Downside, of course, is now he has attack down, so both of the people that are over here do basically no damage. Hello. Goodbye. So there's their tank. We haven't even made it halfway, it's already turn five. Entering combat. So that's going that way. Okay. I'm not gonna take a shot yet, I'm gonna wait for better I do need an engineer actually, so. Probably should have just moved her rather than retreating her, but whatever. It's time to move. I am going to duck into here because I don't think we can actually move anywhere else conveniently right now. So we're going to shoot. We hit. We're going to go back into Welkin. Back into Welkin. That sounds both like a movie and something I wish I hadn't said. We're also going to move slightly forward because we're blocking that. There we go. We safe from the light. Are we safe from the light? It's evil. And killed. So now I've opened the path for my infantry. I could go ahead and try to capture that base. And then pull the engineer from there. Let's see if we can get Alicia across the bridge to see what's over here. Oh dear. Oh well. Okay. That's a thing I should have avoided but didn't. Hmm. So there's a dude in the grass here. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a grenade at him. That's a bit too far there. I'm actually gonna throw a grenade at him because we can't shoot a grenade at him. Just to get him out of cover, basically, is what I'm trying to do here. It's a Lancer, actually. I should have figured that, considering he didn't shoot back at me. Go ahead and turn... So there's a shock trooper down there. It seems to be all that's actually defending the base as far as I can see. There's probably another one over there though. I'm gonna take the time and try and kill this Lancer though. Dat lag. Three shots if he doesn't dodge. Three. There you go. I think she would have actually gotten four there, but still. I'm impressed, but not surprised. Let's see if we can... Yep, there's two over there. One of them's a leader as well. We're gonna leave Alicia there, and if one of them decides to move, she can try and take pot shots at him. She's defended, so to be right. And we'll go ahead and try to move Wendy and Rosie up for support. If we can get them even remotely close, that would be great. I'm glad that's not blocking anymore. There's still this guy next to the tank. If he does anything at all, I'm pretty sure Welkin is just going to maul him. At the very least, he's going to greatly wound him. And Nossi here is actually facing the correct way. And you're blocking me, aren't you? Yes. You can just wait there. Hopefully he doesn't throw a grenade. And that'll be the phase. So it's a scout and a shock trooper defending. That's still not that hard to deal with, but Alicia would take some unnecessary damage, and they're requesting reinforcements, so I think we kind of need to deal with that. Lancer could be problematic. You gonna shoot at him? He's gonna shoot at you, apparently. And miss, somehow. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but... I kinda wish they would aim for the, uh, the head when they shot like that. They aim for the weak point on tanks, but, you know... Where you going, dude? You missed it point blank. Watch him hit now. Nope, he missed again. Eventually, we're gonna kill you, Mr. Lancer. <laughs> Via crotch shots here, we're going to eventually kill this guy. Is he gonna take another turn? No, that guy's gonna take his turn. 
And he's gonna throw a grenade. That's, you know, a reasonable idea. You don't do nearly enough damage to take out the tank treads with that, but at least he did something useful. Up. Oh. Hmm. Could be problematic. Probably won't. Defense down's pretty bad when you're not in cover. When she is in cover, it doesn't matter. It's gonna matter when we start charging that base, though, I think. Oosh. Sadly, that didn't blow up the mine. I wish it had, but it didn't. So let's take Wendy. Here I come. And run. And then explode, yeah. because I'm an idiot. And then run some more. We're gonna have her heal this turn. Uh, do I want to have her heal or shoot this guy? What's the chance of killing him? Pretty high. We'll shoot this guy. Yeah. And then we'll spend another CP getting her into the grass and healing. Hopefully before that light makes its way back. <laughs> I'm on. sure you are. Target sighted. The frame rate is god awful over there. So they're going to get their reinforcements, which sucks, but, you know. I don't think we're going to be charging into their base this turn. We're just going to have to soak the reinforcements and hope it's not something that's going to get us killed. It's just one, so I highly doubt it's going to be something that gets us killed. I should have left Largo out because it gives you CP. That will. We're not doing atrociously on CP, so it'll be alright. Get Rosie in the grass. Facing the bridge. For bridge defense. I wonder if they have another vehicle sitting somewhere. I wonder if I should even bother. Yeah, I should probably bother taking someone down that track. I can cross the bridge, it's going to take pretty heavy damage on my tank. I could go ahead and call an engineer now and just try and run them over. Not run them over with the tank, but run them over to the mine. Who's it? It's Dallas, right? Yeah, it's Dallas. Let's call Dallas out. I'm an idiot. What else is new? Yeah, I can do that. And we're actually going to end up saving some CP here, but... I need to kill, I don't need to, but I want to kill this guy, so. We're going to end up shooting our own tank, but it doesn't matter because it's a tank. There we go. And we should be completely defended from anyone flanking or doing anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and plop them somewhere. I guess I could run them across the bridge, too. That way we have everyone here and ready to go. I'm actually going to plop them down in this corner rather than grass. We already have way too many people in the grass over there, to be honest. And we're going to save the CP, so end phase. I'm pretty sure I'm not getting A on this, considering how slowly I'm going, but at least I'm not taking crazy amounts of ridiculous damage for no reason. What did they call? Who knows? A sniper? No, another scout. Could be problematic, because they'll all shoot with each other, but... There's also a lot of us over here, so if they do something stupid, like run out here, they're gonna get killed. I doubt they will do that, but... I seriously doubt they'll also kill Alicia, even with defense down. Then again, we'll never kill them like this, because they're sitting in a base. That was their whole turn. Alright, well... Could be a problem. Considering they're all packed onto each other. Dallas, hello. Let's take Dallas. Let's watch Dallas run. We. I believe they have effectively the HP, or not the HP, the AP that a standard scout has when they're maybe a little bit less. They're not, our uh, engineers aren't elite yet, so they don't have any major bonuses like everyone else does. They are just standard, you know, engineers. I'm actually going to take three CP moving 
Dallas, probably. We'll have to see, but I think we're gonna try it. If she doesn't have enough AP, there's so many things with P's. If she doesn't have enough AP to get into cover, it might be a problem. I think she's fine. I hope she's fine. Because that's where we're leaving her. You, sir! I'd like you to get your grenade launcher out. And then proceed to be shot by everyone. So shoot right there. A little over. It'll probably skill. It'll skill. Probably kill that one scout. Or it will hit nobody. I'm sorry, what? It was right on the dude, and then I move it back slightly, and suddenly it hits nobody. How far can you shoot this out of curiosity? Not quite far enough, so. Stay behind the boxes. So look, look, here we go. It's right on the dude. That's that's the it's going to hit him in the face marker. So what if I just shoot it like this? It's technically supposedly going to hit him. It did, and it bounced over that way. Well, it blew up the cover. And I think it killed both of the scouts, actually. Good job, Alicia. You managed to do something. So now we just have a shock trooper to deal with. We should be alright. Wendy's got us covered here. <laughs> I have the power. I'm sure you do have the power. You're not going to have the power when he does that. Well, he already shot you, so... Since you need 19 shots to kill... Even, this is with attack down, too? Man, this guy's got, like, no defense. Yeah. No headshots? <laughs> I don't think any of those were headshots, but I wasn't really aiming for headshots, so... Go ahead and occupy this. I guess technically at this point it probably would have been better to just call the stupid engineer from here, but I didn't think really at all, ever. Um... Could call another engineer. What do you people have? Metalhead, lonely, undodgeable shot, metalhead repair boost. Anyway. That'll be my turn. I could continue spinning this CP moving our southern engineer closer, but it you move so slowly after the third time that it doesn't really matter. And the AI is apparently doing nothing with their free time. So there's our new engineer. I'm gonna go ahead and blow the three CP getting right Dallas right. to move and see just how far Dallas can can run, in fact. Probably not the most efficient path to run, actually. But just gave the tank some ammunition. Oh, X disarms. I don't need the engineer tool. Okay. So one CP to get to that disarmament, and then one CP to just get her out of the way, basically. I don't know why I ran backwards. Guess I can just sit on the bridge. I can fend for myself. I'm sure you can. I don't think you need to, but whatever. Didn't actually need a second engineer, because apparently engineers can run really far. Here we go. So let's take the idle device. We're gonna go ahead and move, actually. Did I move early? Nope, it looks like I moved just in time. Go, tank, go! There's a light right behind our tank, I believe. Entering combat. Yes, it's not right behind us, it's actually slightly slower than the tank, but you know what I mean. We're going to take another 2 CP to move him slightly further, because I think the light moves just up here. There we go, and he can just park there. Um, we will go ahead and repair the tank right where it is without going anywhere. I like how you just get out some, like, some, I don't know giant pliers, some little cutters, branch cutters or something, I don't, wire cutters, I don't know what those are, and you suddenly repair a tank somehow. Not sure how that really works, but whatever. 
And we're gonna have Alicia once again get on the trolley. Pull it together. What is your situation? Okay. Well, we're over here. How are you doing on ammo? Is there anything specific over here? Not really. There's a path. Let's take the path. Is there treasure up here? Treasure! Anyone with treasure? There's an explosive, there's a tank! Kinda wish I hadn't hit that explosive. What are these? Snipers? Yeah. I think a single one of these will actually kill both of them if they're close enough. It's really hard to aim this thing. I wish it wasn't. But it is. Did I kill both of them? I believe so. And that's two additional leaders out, or whatever they're called, so... Although Alicia's very injured because I didn't see that explosive, and apparently there's another one. Ooh, dear lord, that was close. She should be fine up there. So there's a tank around the corner. And a Lancer, actually. Uh, we could deal with the Lancer. Fairly simply, actually. Uh, we'll leave the tank there. I am actually going to take an additional CP to go ahead and heal Alicia. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. I'm sure you could beat the smell of fresh soil, but whatever. She's just going to sit up here. Hopefully she's safe where she is. Should I move her? Is there any grass nearby? No. She's so close to that explosive. And I'm afraid that the tank can, like, barely see her, so it's going to take a shot at her and knock her into the explosive or something stupid like that. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I could give her an evasion boost. At this point, I'm already taking too long to get an A, probably, anyway. Probably anyway, maybe, probably. We'll have to see when we actually manage to finish this freaking mission. Oh, they didn't do anything. Okay. I've blown so much CP doing basically nothing, but do this is best. what happens when you do something for the first time. You do it poorly, ineffectively. My yeah, yeah, your brother, whatever. We're gonna have to blow two CP to even get him into range to shoot now. something, sadly. And there's actually... A mine there, so we are going to need another engineer. This should hit. Did. Right in the eye, and he did a sweet backflip too. I suspect the only thing left is that mine and that tank. I don't know for certain, but that's what I'm going to expect. Thankfully we have Dallas handy, as well as a tank handy. Just run over your box, don't mind me. There's a tank here. I know for a fact there's a tank here. What do you mean we can't see the tank? It didn't move, surely. I'm just gonna shoot. Oh, there you go. I found him! <laughs> oh, I was very confused. I think it's the... Is it night? Is that the front wing? Is that why we couldn't see him? Because Alicia was the one that spotted him. Alicia's not looking at it anymore. So we're gonna blow 6 CP. It'd probably be more efficient to blow five with a lancer, but... Entering combat. I didn't get a lancer, so we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Nature. And just blow it up like that. Everything here seems to be a leader. I'm but not okay. So we're going to take our engineer. We're going to disable this mine. Leave it to me. And then we're going to take Alicia, and we're going to do another scouting run. We don't need the engineer tool. Pardon me, coming through. Gave you some ammo. Oh, there's another Lancer. It's so close to hitting me. I keep reading you can step on these mines without them blowing up. Alright, well... Can you kill him? Unlikely. Increasingly unlikely. Well, you hit him once. That was better than I was expecting by the fourth shot there. Let's grab Alicia. She likely has the best chance of killing this guy, and she needs to finish scouting anyway. Oh! Ow! 
Oswald the Iron. It takes five headshots to kill him, and he's probably going to dodge it. Nope. There we go. Apparently, these these named people are the aces, and they provide the weapons that you can get. So, like, the, uh... You know what I mean. <laughs> The stuff that comes up, and you can actually use the enemy weapons, as well as, you know, look at them and look at their details and stuff. Those lights. They seem to me to be less useful than... There we go. Than just using the, your own guns, but I guess there may be points where you want them. They tend to have less range and more damage. So they're less accurate, they do more damage though, so... Is that the last enemy? Do they even have any CP left? They have three. They did nothing with it. I wonder if it's possible to get past this light. Here we go. It seems like it's not. Yeah, it's looking like it's not possible to get past this light, so I'm just going to trigger it on the far end of the bridge. It's actually almost as fast as your tank as well. Long range mortar set to fire. Clear the area. Shouldn't matter. This one you can avoid. <laughs> I may actually end up avoiding avoiding it doing this, but if I don't, it shouldn't matter. No, I didn't. Just barely. Tank command, move out. Tank command is already moving out. This hardly seems fa uh, sorry safe to just drive our tank into this elevator. I like how I just needed to move like an extra centimeter. <laughs> Whatever. There you go. That went all right. Operation complete. I probably got a C rank because I did it so slowly, but at least no one died yet. Yeah, C rank. And there's the gun. That's what I mean. You get a gun from the aces, as far as I'm aware. A medal awaits. A good look at those medals. I don't know what they give. A new episode has been added. Uh, we'll go ahead and watch these two cutscenes, and then we'll go check out the, the audience hall and the medals and stuff. Finish off some training, split it, and then do the rest. you folks here and how'd you get in welkin gunther is my name i was told there was a militia sympathizer here well you heard right welkin i'm your guy i'm zaka it's nice to meet you hey pumpkin i've got to talk some adult stuff with these folks would you be a good girl and go to bed for me <sighs> okay Good night. She's sweet. She your kid's sister? No. Both her parents died a while back. They were victims of torture. Torture? That's just horrible. Listen, we have a lot of work to do. Follow me, let's get started. As you can see, Thousand's factories are located on the canyon's edge, split between an upper and lower level. There's an armored train that services those factories, and moves on rails built into the upper level, shooting downward. If it's up there, it's completely out of our range. How do we attack it? Glad you asked. We take it down with this little wonder. It's a Ragnite bomb. I made it myself. I've been sneaking spare parts from under the Empire's watch for weeks. I can guarantee its power. You think one bomb's gonna blow this thing up? I'm not proposing we use it on the train. We use it on this. I get it. We take out the rails. Then the train drops into the canyon from the bridge. Exactly. You can leave the setting of the bomb to me. 
I want all of you to provide a diversion so I can get in there and attach the package to a strut. Once I've wired it and gotten a safe distance away, I'll give you a signal. Then you'll detonate it and destroy the bridge. Right. Sounds good. Did you have any questions about the mission, then? No, I got it. Is there something else? Forget it. Oh, I get it now. You're wondering if you can trust me because I'm a Darkson, yeah? <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, tell me something you like. What? Something you enjoy. There's gotta be something, right? Um... Singing, I guess. I like to sing. And listen to other folks. Oh, musician, huh? Nice. I like to sing, too. Nothing beats a nice tune and a little stroll. Music can pick you up or make you cry. <laughs> Anthems can drive a whole country to war. That's the great thing about music. Variety. Every song is different, but it's all good. Yeah, I guess so. So what are you getting at? If you appreciate diversity in music, why hate all the Darksons? What? There's plenty of races in the world. Each has its traits, but people are all unique. Just like with music. They've all got their good points. Well, I think so anyway. <laughs> Singing's more fun with a chorus, right? I agree, Zaka. There are over 30,000 kinds of beetles in the world, each with its own characteristics. It's the same for us, too. Ugh. Another one of the boss's nature talks. Beetles? <laughs> well, that's a new one. I never heard a man compare people to bugs in a good way before. I'd have to agree, though. Bickering won't do us any good. Let's try to make nice. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, the operation begins tomorrow at dawn. I want everyone ready for combat. So was that both A and D there? Inside Band Part 2? Looks like it, because it's not marked as new anymore. So let's go ahead and head to the headquarters. Do some preliminary stuff before we actually continue on with this chapter. Such as the training field in R&D, notice the massive quantity of money I have because I have nothing to spend it on. There's some additional stuff apart from the chapters that I've been doing that I haven't done, obviously, cause, you know, words. Uh, I will do those once all the chapters are done. I can go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. I've already... Well, actually, I uh, no no uh, will see. Might do them. I like to leave some of this stuff out of the playthroughs more often than not. Good work, maggots. You're one level closer to Hooray. Mostly just to leave some form of incentive to actually, like, get the game and play it. Because this is a good game. A new order. Hooray. All units aim. Could be useful. I wonder what the potential was. What was it out of? Our engineers resist counters, demolition man, and poison tolerance. Hmm. I like demolition man, Dallas, the female engineer. Resist counters could be interesting. So there's that. Come back any yes, yes, come back anytime. Um, audience hall. Visit the castle for an audience with Cordelia. The name sounds familiar as if it's used in another game or something else, but I don't remember what. How have you been, your highness? Very well, Lieutenant Gumpler. And all the better for seeing you again. She has a unicorn on her head, by the way. Again for the valor you showed in assisting me that night. Not at all. I was just relieved to see you were unharmed. It wasn't until I saw my friends gawk at that metal that I realized how special it was. <laughs> you truly are a rare individual. 
It is the duty of a nation to acknowledge and reward the loyal deeds of its people. Medals and trinkets are the only form we have, but we ask that you wear them proudly. Yes, ma'am, and thank you, Your Highness. I hear your accomplishments do not end with that knight's bravery, either. The stories of your accomplishments suggest I owe you a great deal more than that. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. She's got her serious business face on. In honor of your manifold accomplishments, you are hereby awarded this honor. Highness, it's an honor. What did I get? It's a thing. It's a thing with glorious music. The Lance of Gallia. That sounds good. Crimson Heart? Good lord, how many am I gonna get? How many times do I have to listen to the jingle is a better question. I can't skip that, by the way. Order of the Holy Shield and the Lance of Gallia. Those both sound really good. That also looks really good. These are some fancy medals, man. I don't mess around with their metal production. Order of the Holy Lance. Alright, well, I'm multiple Holy Lances, apparently. For your squad's exemplary performance in the final battle, this royal award... The final battle? Thank you, Your Highness. A gun! Hmm. Gallia 1R received two. I guess I got two of them. Apparently I'm gonna get a bunch of guns. I wonder if these are any good, if they're just the base gun with a different color to them. Good lord. Really wish it didn't loop that thing, that jingle every time? May your allegiance to Gallia stand firm evermore. Okay. And if you're curious, you can change your equipment by going to the barracks. So let's have a look at those guns. I think they're the base gun with a different color on them. Um, actually, they are different. They look like they might actually be better. They lose a little bit of range, so they lose some accuracy, but they get higher damage. Not nearly as high damage as the enemy weapon, but the enemy weapon also has basically no range. So there is that. Let's look at the other ones. That's actually just straight up better than what I have. Interesting. May put that on him. What else did we get? We got a sniper, didn't we? Yeah, that... Well... Hmm, so much more damage. More range, but the aim actually goes down. And if you're getting headshots, it doesn't matter anyway. We're not going to put those on right now. I probably should. Not going to, though. I will, however, check the R&D facility to see if there's anything new. That might improve our existing weapons. Welcome, bro. Welcome, bro. Nope. You can see I could actually make them stronger. At the cost of aim, obviously, but... Don't really want to do that right now. Clip size! I've heard that clip size is the preferred, preferred upgrade. Rather than what I'm doing now, which is damage up because it just makes you give more shots. So we're probably going to end up going with that. Hopefully it auto-equips that to everyone. Doesn't look quite as cool as the damage up, but whatever. Accuracy boost again? Sign me up. I don't think that actually improves the accuracy any, but hey! Extra damage. Who could go wrong with that? Uh, we'll just keep going. Firepower boost on the flamethrower. Just gonna blow a bunch of money because I have a bunch of money. Any additional armor? Nope. Nope. Anything for the idle vice? Preferably passive upgrades like this. I really like the passive upgrades because you don't have to actually put them anywhere. You don't have to equip them. You might have noticed there's a lot of things to equip, so it's kind of become a little bit cumbersome to manage to fit everything. 
Like this expanded capacity, I'm not going to put that on there because it takes up space, which is more vital for basically anything else. I don't need extra ammo. Come back again soon, bro. That would allow me to fire, you know, up to three mortars per turn, but if I'm firing three mortars, there's a serious issue going on. Um, Castle Front Street is the thing I was talking about, where I should, I'm going to show off additional chapters and stuff, but I think I'm not actually going to do that. If you want to see those chapters, you can find someone else's playthrough, I guess, or buy the game, and a PS3 if you don't have one. I'd recommend both, because they're pretty darn good. I'm also going to save, because, I don't know, logic, I'm going to save over this slot, though. And then I'm going to split the file. And I will uh, see you all in the next video.